Weston. A more permanent fix to the I-75 bridge is on pause today for Easter weekend, but it'll start back up Monday morning. It's been more than two weeks since that bridge collapsed, injuring a driver. Our three investigates team broke new details yesterday, revealing a 911 call from an East Ridge woman who says she tried to warn TDOT about what she described as a chunk of concrete falling from the I-75 bridge just three days before it collapsed. That information was handed over to TDOT engineers who say they believe the callers saw grout falling, not concrete. They say that's normal. Channel 3's Denise Cordell continues our coverage. Um, concrete falling out from underneath the overpass. An East Ridge woman says she kept getting disconnected when she tried to call TDOT, warning them about falling concrete from the I-75 bridge. Um, TDOT's closed, so... Um... She told Channel 3 that's when she turned to East Ridge Police. There's big, huge, um, long chunks of concrete that are falling out. I don't oh, know if well. it's somebody's car. Yeah, that, that could be an issue. The dispatcher immediately relayed her message to TDOT's traffic management center. Hey, Tracy, it's Ryan over at Police Dispatch. Today, I spoke to another East Ridge dispatcher over the phone. She explained this is protocol. She says whenever they get calls about a concern, they contact the agency's best fit to address that concern. In this case, it was TDOT. There are apparently pieces of concrete falling from the underside of the overpass. Due to the holiday, we weren't able to get in touch with East Ridge Police Dispatch Administration for comment. We did speak to Police Chief Stan Allen. He sent a statement complimenting the dispatcher who helped warn TDOT. You can read that full statement inside the WRCB app. In the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And again, repairs will resume Monday evening at 6 p.m. They'll work through the night and some lane closures will be put into place.